A one best anti-inflammatory food. What's the best food to fight inflammation in the world? Can you guess? It's not fish oils like omega-3 fatty acids, it's something else. Many foods can cause inflammation like gluten, sugars, oils, and junk food. But most inflammation starts in the gut. Even if you take fish oil, it won't help much. You need to change what you eat. The best food for healing the gut is red meat, like beef. It has a lot of something called glutamine, which helps heal your gut. Zero two, which is healthier, broccoli or broccoli sprouts. There's something called sulforaphane in broccoli. It's really strong and can help fight cancer, aging, and inflammation, but which has more of it? Broccoli or broccoli sprouts? If you said broccoli sprouts, you're right. They have 10 times more sulforaphane than regular broccoli. Surgero 3, how to boost growth hormone by 2000%. There's a hormone called growth hormone. It fights aging, but as you get older, it drops. By age 50, it's really low, so you wanna boost it. Here's how, intermittent fasting. That means not eating for 16 to 20 hours, then eating in a four hour window. That means if you eat at two o'clock, then after four hours, eat at six o'clock. Exercise helps to grow 450%, but fasting boosts it even more, like 2000% more. O4, revitalize your liver with this just one cup daily elixir to get rid of liver fat, drink this cup every day. I know it sounds crazy, but listen up, it'll make sense. Most liver fat comes from insulin resistance. Apple cider vinegar is great for fixing this. Here's what you do. Mix a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water. Add some lemon juice too, about a tablespoon or juice from a lemon. Lemon helps remove liver fat. Drink it daily and watch your liver fat go away. O5, which carbohydrate doesn't affect insulin? When we talk about insulin, we're talking about how your body handles weight loss. If your insulin levels are too high, you won't lose weight easily. So the goal is to keep insulin low. Most people know that sugars, carbs, and too much protein can make insulin go up, but they might not know that fiber, especially from leafy greens, won't raise it. That's why you don't have to count the carbs from leafy greens on a keto diet. They're full of fiber and won't affect insulin. Also, Pure fats like olive oil won't raise insulin levels. Using extra virgin olive oil on salads adds nutrients like potassium, magnesium, and vitamin C. It's a healthy choice. 06. Surprise remedy for viruses. There's natural way to fight viruses. It's called monolaurin found in coconut oil that can break down the virus's outer layer because it's made of fat. Monolaurin is like a super strong fat called lauric acid, which is great for your immune system. It works against all kinds of viruses and even resistant bacteria. So if you want to boost your immune system, try adding monolaurin to your routine. Zergero 7. Are you getting enough oxygen in your sleep space? When you're in a room with no open windows and not enough plants, you might not be getting the oxygen you need. This can make it harder to sleep well because there's too much CO2 in the room. But if you open a window or bring in a plant, you'll get more oxygen and less CO2 which helps you sleep better. Lots of people spend all day in rooms like this with too much CO2 and not enough oxygen. Burrow 8. Should you eat before bed? Is it okay to eat before bed? Eating before bed can stop growth hormone from working. Growth hormone is important for burning fat and staying young. Eating before bed is bad because it stops this hormone from working. So try to have your last meal at dinner and eat enough fat. That's why you don't need to snack before bed. You must want your growth hormone to work well when you sleep. Zarudadaro 9 to 5 intermittent fasting hacks. If you're thinking about trying intermittent fasting but worry it's too tough because you have to go without food, here are some easy tricks to help. First, try drinking apple cider vinegar mixed with water a few times a day. It can help curb your hunger by regulating blood sugar and improving insulin levels. Also, sip on decaf or warm teas throughout the day, like ones that support your liver or kidneys. Another idea is to make some keto bombs to keep you full during meals. Lastly, make sure to get plenty of sleep as being tired can make fasting harder. And when you do eat, take your time and chew your food slowly to avoid stressing your stomach. 10. A carb that is more dangerous than sugar. It can spike blood sugars significantly. What is it? There's a carb that's worse than sugar. It's called maltodextrin. The glycemic index tells us how fast food affects blood sugar. Regular tablespoon sugar is about 65 on the scale. Glucose is 100. But this carb is even higher between 116 and 136. It means this carb raises blood sugar very quickly. Even though it's not labeled as sugar, it acts like one, spiking your blood sugar levels dangerously high. You can find it in foods like modified food starch or modified corn starch. Avoid maltodextrin by reading labels carefully, especially in sugar-free products. 11. The best food for anti-aging If I had to pick the best food for staying young, it would be eggs especially the yolks. In my interviews, most people who see great results eat eggs, especially the organic kind. Eggs have something called phosphatidylcholine, which helps keep your cells strong. They're also good for liver health, memory, and fighting dementia. It's a shame people are told to avoid eggs as they get older. You don't have to worry about eating eggs, especially the organic ones. They're safe and can even help if you're doing intermittent fasting or on a keto diet. 12. 
All estrogen comes from testosterone. Did you know that most of the estrogen in our bodies, whether we're men or women, comes from testosterone? There's this thing called aromatase that changes testosterone into estrogen. If there's too much of this aromatase, you might end up having too much estrogen. For women, this could mean a higher risk of breast cancer. For men, it might mean growing breast tissue. One big thing that makes this aromatase work too much is plastics. Did you know that an average person eats about five grams of plastic every week? That's as big as a credit card. 13, the secret of fat burning, eating two cheeseburgers, a medium coat, a Yandy medium fries takes about 20 minutes and gives you over a thousand calories, but burning off those calories requires three hours of intense exercise. However, if those calories don't come from carbs, your body won't turn them into fat. With a low-carb diet, your body can use those calories for energy. But with a high-carb diet, your body can't use fat calories for energy. So burning fat depends on how low your carbs are. 14. Top 3 Intermittent Fasting Tips to Lose Belly Fat Here are three important tips to lose belly fat with intermittent fasting. First, make sure you have enough sea salt to avoid feeling tired and weak. Second, let your hunger decide when to fast. And most importantly, cut down on carbs to force your body to burn belly fat. Eat meat and veggies and avoid bread, pasta, and sugary drinks. For more tips, check out our YouTube channel. 15. Drink this once a day and watch your inflammation disappear. Here's a simple and effective way to ease inflammation, especially in your gut. You'll need a juicer for this. Juice fresh, raw, and organic cabbage. Cabbage juice is packed with glutamine, which can really help soothe your gut if it's inflamed or if you have an ulcer. There's also a special vitamin called vitamin U in cabbage that's known for its healing properties. Try drinking a glass of cabbage juice every day. It's a natural remedy that can make a big difference in reducing inflammation. 16. Why you need magnesium. Do you know why you need magnesium? Have you heard of chlorophyll? It's the green stuff in plants. Chlorophyll is similar to our blood, but instead of iron, it's packed with magnesium. Magnesium is super important for things like relieving constipation, headaches, leg cramps, and keeping your heart rhythm steady. It's used in over 300 different enzymes in your body, so you really need it. Many people don't get enough magnesium, which can mess with their sleep and stress levels. So besides potassium, magnesium is key. You can find it in veggies, so try to eat more of them. Aim for at least seven cups each day this week to boost your magnesium levels. 17, how to reduce fatty liver by 50%. Did you know many people have a fatty liver? But here's something interesting. In a recent study, researchers found that following the ketogenic diet for just 14 days can reduce up to 50% of the fat from your liver. All you have to do is keep your daily carb intake under 30 grams. What's fascinating is that although participants didn't see changes in their waist size, their liver fat decreased significantly. So if you're on the ketogenic diet and not seeing immediate weight loss, don't worry. Your body is prioritizing liver fat reduction first. 18 food with the most phytic acid? Here's a simple question. Which food contains the most phytic acid, a compound that blocks minerals like zinc, iron, and calcium? Many might guess grains, but it's actually nuts. When eating raw nuts, it's best to soak them in water overnight, dry them, and then enjoy them to reduce the phytic acid content. 19. Who knew that the mother in your apple cider vinegar jar held such secrets? Did you know that the stuff at the bottom of apple cider vinegar bottles, called the mother, isn't just bacteria and enzymes like many think, it's actually unfiltered fiber. Some companies heat their vinegar at high temperatures, which kills the good bacteria and enzymes. To get real apple cider vinegar with the mother, look for raw vinegar from brands like Fairchild's, not Bragg's. 20. Tune into this video for a revealing insight into foods that trigger inflammation. Some foods can cause inflammation in your body. Grains, like those containing gluten, are a big culprit. They can make your gut inflamed, which is bad for arthritis. Other troublemakers include alcohol, sugar, and junk foods. Did you know that 83% of the calories in grocery stores come from ultra-processed foods? No wonder our stomachs feel off. 21. The truth behind the natural sugar. Fructose is found in fruit and has a low score on the glycemic index, but it's not as harmless as it seems. Unlike other sugars, fructose is processed only by your liver all the other cells in the body can't metabolize sugar. When your liver gets too much fructose, it can lead to insulin resistance and even diabetes. 22. Unwrinkle your wrinkles from inside? How to fix wrinkles from inside? Many people try creams with retinol to get rid of wrinkles by outside, but what I suggest is working from the inside out. Start eating foods high in vitamin A. Foods like egg yolks, butter from grass-fed cows, and cod liver oil are great sources. These foods can help your skin from the inside. 23. What really causes cholesterol problems? Cutting down on cholesterol won't necessarily help because your body just makes more when needed. Cholesterol is crucial for making hormones and keeping your skin, brain, and nerves healthy. The problem with clogged arteries isn't cholesterol itself, but the arteries getting damaged first. LDL and HDL, often called good and bad cholesterol, 
aren't actually cholesterol but carriers that move cholesterol around the body and liver. HDL takes cholesterol out of the liver, while LDL brings it in. It's like a constant shuttle service. 24 best vegetable to consume if you have osteoarthritis. There are two main types of arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease, while osteoarthritis isn't typically seen as one, but it shares some similarities, especially in the fingers. But let's focus on the best vegetable for osteoarthritis. Start adding more cabbage to your diet, whether it's raw cabbage, coleslaw, or sauerkraut, cabbage can help ease inflammation in your joints by supporting your gut health. Give it a try and see how it helps with your joint pain. 25. What's the best cheese you can eat? If you're wondering about the best cheese to eat, let me share my favorites. These are from Switzerland, made from raw milk and hormone-free. There's one aged in caves too. For top quality, go for grass-fed and organic options. You'll find great deals at places like Trader Joe's. Enjoy! 26. Get ready to boost your overall wellness with these delicious, probiotic-rich options. There are easy ways to get probiotics without supplements. First, try fermented veggies like pickles, sauerkraut, or kimchi. Second, have fermented dairy like kefir, which is super healthy. Make sure it's sugar-free and made from whole milk, or try sheep or goat milk kefir. Lastly, eat raw veggies grown in soil, not hydroponically. Veggies from your garden or local market are packed with good bacteria and fiber which feeds your gut bugs. 27. Need more energy? It's all about your body's powerhouses, mitochondria. If you want more energy, focus on something amazing in your body called mitochondria. They're like tiny powerhouses that make energy called ATP. Your body makes a lot of ATP every day. But to keep it up, you need vitamins like B, magnesium, zinc, and certain foods. Check out my new YouTube video on fatigue for tips to boost your energy. 28. How does eating fat help you lose fat? How does eating fat help you lose your own fat? It might sound strange, but here's the deal. Fat doesn't spike insulin, the hormone that stores fat. So if you eat fat and practice intermittent fasting, where you go without food for a stretch, your insulin levels drop, letting your body burn fat for fuel. Plus, fat keeps you full, which is important on low-carb diets. Unlike low-fat diets, which can leave you hungry and make it hard to balance blood sugar, so eating fat can actually help you shed pounds. 29. Don't let anyone tell you that red meat isn't good for building muscle. People who avoid red meat might choose chicken breast, but it's not the best quality and has too many omega-6 fatty acids. Plant-based protein isn't much better. Eggs are good, but make sure they're cooked, not raw. Cooked eggs are better for your body. Another good option is high-quality cheese. Cheese has growth factors from milk that can help build muscles and make them stronger. It's a great addition to your diet. 30. Discover the shocking effects of sugar on our health. After watching this video, you might decide to quit sugar. But don't be mad at me, I'm just sharing some important info. There's a lot of research, over 8-1600 studies with 703 meta-analyses, showing that too much added sugar is really bad for you. It's linked to 45 different health problems, like diabetes, asthma, depression, stroke, heart attack, and even cancer. So cutting back on sugar could help you stay healthier and live longer. 31. Fatty liver. Causes, treatments, vitamins. If someone has a bit of a bulge around their stomach or their belly sticks out, there's a good chance they might have a fatty liver. But did you know, fatty liver isn't just caused by drinking alcohol. There's also something called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which happens because of things like eating too much sugar or junk food. Now, if you end up with a fatty liver, what can you do about it? Well, besides following the advice I give in my videos, there's a special vitamin that can help called choline. It's like a fat buster for your liver. You can find it in powder form, and if you take it regularly for a few months, it can really help your liver get rid of that extra fat. Of course, you also need to stop eating the stuff that caused the problem in the first place and start eating more vegetables. Okay, catch you later. 32. Why Europeans have less bloating after eating wheat products. I want to explain why Europeans don't get as bloated from eating wheat as Americans do. It comes down to three things. First, Europeans use white wheat which has more protein and less gluten than the red wheat used in America. Second, America uses a lot more glyphosate, a chemical called Roundup Ready, which can mess with your gut bacteria and cause bloating. And lastly, in America, we add a lot of iron to our wheat, but Europeans don't do this as much. Iron can make bad bacteria grow in your gut and cause bloating. But if you're doing keto, you don't have to worry about this because you're not eating wheat. 33, back in the 50s and 60s, Fewer folks were overweight. People who were born in the 50s and 60s, like myself, noticed something interesting. Back then, there weren't as many overweight people. But why was that? It wasn't because we ate less saturated fats or meat. It wasn't because we smoked or drank less either. Surprisingly, we actually drank more and smoked more back then. But nowadays, things have changed. We consume a lot of high fructose corn syrup and seed oils, which we didn't have much of back then. Back in the day, we mostly ate saturated fats. And here's something else to consider. 
Snacking. Back then, we didn't snack as much as we do now. But every time you snack, it causes a spike in insulin levels. And insulin is behind many problems, especially with weight. 34. The truth about the most popular vitamin. Let's unveil the truth about the most popular vitamin sold in the U.S. It's called Centrum. And it's a big deal, selling nearly a billion dollars worth. But here's the catch. It's not really a vitamin. Centrum is made from synthetic chemicals like petroleum and artificial stuff. They even add MSG to it. When you check the label, the first thing you'll see is calcium carbonate, which is just limestone. It's not harmful, but it's basically like using a heavy rock as a filler. The rest of the vitamin is a mix of synthetic vitamins, not the real deal from food. So when you're shopping for vitamins, make sure to look for ones that mention real food on the label. That's the better option. 35 Health Benefits of Milk Thistle Milk thistle is really good at keeping your liver safe from harmful things like mushroom poisoning, alcohol poisoning, Tylenol poisoning, and even snake bites. So, when you hear about milk thistle, remember it's all about protecting your liver from poisons. 36 Vitamin A is essential for your eyes, immune system, and skin inside and out. Vitamin A is super important for your eyes, immune system, and skin even inside your body. The best kind, called retinol, isn't found much in veggies like kale or carrots. Instead, you'll find it in things like cod liver oil, egg yolks, grass-fed butter, liver, cheese, or fish. 37. Sip on the world's healthiest lemonade. Let me show you how to make super healthy lemonade. It's got zero sugars, unlike most lemonades that are loaded with sugar. It's really easy. Just mix one cup of water with the juice of one lemon or four tablespoons of lemon juice. Then add three drops of liquid stevia for sweetness. That's it. It tastes so good, you won't even miss the sugar. 